Good morning, I hope you're well. My name is Michael Washenko. Today I want to talk about the book that I have had more copies of and given away more copies of than any art book out there, and that is Joseph Albert's Interaction of Color. Now there are many editions of this book. Get the latest edition. Um, I believe I have the I think, sixth edition, but um, it is an essential book, I would consider, if you are serious about art, if you are serious about color, and even if you're not serious about color, I think that, you know, a huge part of being an artist is learning how to see, and this book is going to teach you how to see. So when you're making work, you realize, when I was back in, when I was back in university, uh, my freshman year, we spent an entire semester in one of my classes only working from this textbook and we only learned color in that time. And so, honestly, even after that, I felt like I could have spent way more time learning about color. It's something that once you kind of realize that color is relative, then it will forever change your understanding of color from that. and it will become infinitely complex, infinitely um, difficult to, to wrap your mind around and to really say anything with certainty. And I will have to say that in my personal practice, I have directly used this information, used this knowledge, created um, differences in perception based off of the differences in color. So. What would an example of relative co color be? So if we just turn to a random page in the book, and if you get the newer book, it will have colorized pages in it. So here, for example, um, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but the colors here look very similar. Um, actually, they look different they are the same color, but they, your perception of it changes based on the colors around it. And so that is an example of how color is relative. It's not that color itself is relative, it's that the way that your mind makes sense of color changes. And so if you are going and stuck at home, think critically about the color that you're in. Get this book, give it to a friend. If you're a painter and you already know this, give the book to a friend. I've given away at least a dozen copies, 20 copies. It really is an amazing book. And every time I find one used, I quickly grab it. All right, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day.